Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Krimbus, and uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night is a film uh, that I haven't seen, so I figure I can watch it. Also, um, I forgot to add to the list. There's a film from 1974 called Black Christmas, so if I have enough energy after this, we might watch that one. So get that one ready unless we watch the sequel. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to watch next, but Black Christmas should be on the list. I might have started that if I had remembered to add that to the list. So uh, I haven't seen that. But anyway, uh, I guess we're going to start this film, Silent Night, Deadly Night, which is obviously a great horror movie. Uh, 19, it's, real, it's a real 1984. It's an Orwellian film. Uh, Christmas, Christmas movie of all time and i'm gonna do a countdown i'm gonna do a three two one tongue click on the tongue click you want to press play all right um this movie you mean like silent night deadly night or black christmas i don't know what you, when you say this you mean this one right or do you mean that one anyway three two one all right this was hugely controversial is that the only reason i got a sequel Right, I'm gonna ASMR this. Ah, oh, I got jump scared. Ah. Uh. Which Black Christmas have you seen? Because 1974 is the original, and there were a lot of remakes. There was a 2006 one, and some others. I thought that said gamer. <laughs> I thought he was a gamer. There's little specks of something in my fucking cup. Where'd it come from? I don't like it. Oh yeah, there was a 2019 one. Jesus, I forgot. Thank you, Camus. Camus. All right, we got... Uh... Kahlua <laughs> and soy milk. I also grabbed a Bud Light for no reason, even though it's shit, but we're trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to get rid of it in the home. So I don't even want to open it. I feel like I feel like I'd be a better person if I didn't even drink it, you know. Michael Hickey, ew. Horace. Thank you. Is this the shining old baby? If they kill the kid, then I understand why it was controversial. They better fucking kill the kid. Life is very gay. How dare you? The trope of just sitting in the middle seat so the camera can see you better. It happens more often in films than it happens in real life. Shockingly, it does happen in real life, as evidenced by Gael when I was driving him to the grocery store. 
there was no one else in the back seat and he decided to sit in the middle. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? What if it's a metal facility? The guy on the right looks a little familiar. Kill the children. Be a cool movie. Be a good movie. Kill the baby. Graphically. Hurt him. <laughs> they all leave. <laughs> it's a mental facility. Want to see a dead body? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. He sucks at acting. I didn't finish the the 2006 Black Christmas. I'd prefer not to talk about movies that I'm not watching while I'm doing watch-alongs. Thank you. That's a double negative. This is fun so far. <laughs> He's crying. So he's not going to die now because they're setting things up for later. So they're probably not going to kill the kid if he's going to last the whole movie. If they were going to kill the kid, it would be in the opening scene. They're not going to kill him at the end. I didn't say anything. What? They were about to leave without their their child. They just left the room and he just stayed there. They almost forgot him. Mommy was a naughty girl. What? He can't talk. Grandpa can't talk. Oh, God. It's, yeah. Oh, I joked about it and it happened. I joked about it and it happened. Instead of me changing the title, why don't one of the mods just pin spoilers get banned? That would be great. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah! Not a bad robbery costume if you're going to rob people on Christmas. What are the cops going to do? Like, we're on the lookout for someone in a Santa costume on Christmas. That's a that's a smart idea. Shoot him again. Yeah. Wow, that face. Oh, Jesus. Nice. That was not a bad effect, actually. <laughs> Christmas Eve is slowly fading. We're at 11:31 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> my penis. It's my penis. It's my penis. I would not stop and help someone on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I think it's a bad idea. You can call it in. We have cell phones now. You don't need to you don't need to be a good Samaritan. You can just call it in. <laughs> yes! Good opening. Wow. Reversing? You could just keep going. Is daddy dead? Nice. This is cool. This is not a bad movie so far. Oh, oh, you're going to you're going to go this direction. Unnecessary. <laughs> Ooh, do it. Oh, did he do it? I guess he did it. It didn't show it. Lame. You know, I feel like the tits are more unnecessary if he doesn't do anything with it, you know? I feel like if he the fact that he didn't go all the way makes it more unnecessary. <laughs> at least at least stab her titty. At least like grope it or something, you know. It's just like you just wanted tits on screen, that's it. Baby. Let's go Brandon.
That was a funny face. Is it tits? <laughs> Is it tits? Ah, oh, it's not tits. How about Lake Superior? Oh, now it's boring. I want to pee. No one's seen it. Maybe I should be right now. Nope. The scary music's back. Damn, I got tired quick. Holy shit. Also, I, I haven't eaten a lot of calories. I've just been drinking most of my calories today. I can't pee the scary music's on. She's given a weird face. That was weird. She, why did she just lock him? Why did she close the door? She's not going to be like, hey, come out and play. Like, what are you? Why did she close the Why didn't she? Hey, come outside. What the hell? <laughs> Why'd you do that? I think it was in the edit for like the Blade trilogy uh, YMS watches video where I said, what if I just pee into a bottle? And then the editor made it seem like I peed into a bottle by adding like a sound effect of like, and then just the video continued on. Someone left a very angry comment being like, that is disgusting. I can't like actually seriously mad. And then someone else replied to them saying it was a joke and obviously an edit. And then the person responded back, still trying to defend their position of being justifiably angry and being like, yeah, well, it's still disgusting. And I'm like, have you been outside? <laughs> <laughs> More titty. This is a stupid movie. <laughs> the movie was good before the titties showed up. Quote Adam, a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now he's going to associate titties with his mom being chopped up.
How did she know? Punishment. Ha <laughs> ha! This is good. This is funny. Oh, so in the little kid's mind, he thinks that the nun just joined in on the action, really, based on those sounds. Yeah. Oh, you're not allowed to be outside? What? What? Oh. Boys. Boys. Am I not allowed to be outside right now? Like, what the fuck? What? It, what are you doing? The more you put it on a pedestal, the more it's going to leave an impression in his mind. Now it's now it's in his mind forever because you're doing this. Oh, God. Now he's going to have a fetish for, like, humiliation. Now he's going to grow up and be like, oh, it's so dirty and naughty and horrible. Ugh. Fuck you. People put such a weird fucking emphasis on sex. Anti-sex people put more of an emphasis on sex than people who have sex. It's so stupid. People, these nuns, people like these are responsible for like the weird fucking bizarre fetishes people have because people put sex into this weird category in their mind of like this hyper emotional, hyper triggered, weird, bizarre reaction thing. And then suddenly everybody has this weird mind association with like, oh, naughty and dirty and I'm doing something wrong. And then they just get horny by doing wrong things. You fucking idiots. Stupid, stupid religious people. You reap what you sow. It's just, it's a constant, like, creating your own problems and continuing to perpetuate your own problems and then blaming everybody else for things that you created. Like, I'm taking issue with this thing that I'm perpetuating. Fucking religious nut jobs are so annoying. No! Get me out of this dream! Get me out of here! Fa! Help me! <laughs> I didn't do anything! Just, 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 just get me out! Up! Uh, get, get me out of here! Ah! Uh! Let me out! Ah! Uh. You're not allowed to masturbate anymore. Oh, that classic Jesus picture in the background. My parents had one of those. Get me out! Oh, I called it. I I called the get me out of here scene before it even happened. <laughs> I have a I have an extra sense for get me out of here. Yeah, oh my god, it's happening. I willed it into existence. I like how the subtitle had to say children playing in parentheses in case deaf people couldn't see the children playing. What the fuck? <laughs> like, All right, I'm drinking a disgusting... Be no, I can't. I can't stomach even opening it. I can't do it. I'm not drinking a Bud Light. I'm going to put that back in the fridge. 
I thought I could psych, psych myself into doing it. I can't do it. I'll grab something else. <laughs> I can't. I literally can't do it. Should I pee now? Is there scary music? I'm going to have a quick pee. What happened? What did I miss? What do you do? He punched Santa? Okay, good. Well, fuck. Do we want to do do we want to do a classic I can pause it and rewind it. We'll just have to resync. Do you want to start at 25 minutes? Let's let's start at 25 minutes. All right, everybody. Sorry, we're doing an actual pause and rewind sync. Oh, 25 minutes is too late. We're going to start at... Let's start at 24 minutes. 24 minutes exactly. And I'll do a countdown. So everybody gets synced. Sorry about that. I chose a bad time to pee. This is unprecedented. All right. So I'll give everybody a little bit to sync themselves up here. Sorry, 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 everybody. <sighs> yeah, there's a there's a couple sequels. All right, 24 minutes. Sorry, I missed the funny thing. Give you a little bit more time to, to get yourself ready here. Hold on. All right. At 24 minutes, three, two, one. Sorry about that. It was the bad time to pee. You'd think that they would know, if they know that he is traumatized by something, you'd think that they would know that he's traumatized specifically by Santa. <laughs> like, you'd think it would be a bad idea. Did they, did, were they mentioning that? Is this a part of, like, some weird, like, psychological therapy? Nice! That kid's got a hell of a punch. He knocked him out. Billy. Whoa, double bloody nose. That was great. All right, thanks for letting... Thanks for suffering through the pause and rewind. An unprecedented YMS watch-alongs first, I believe. I was caught in 4K. Resyncing is easily easy when you have the right time when everybody has the same file basically there's some movies where you know some people have to start like 20 seconds later or something is yeah it's stupid a oh, man
Those pants looked too tight. Oh, is this Billy grown up? I'm more of a Sims 3 kind of guy. This is a weird musical break. This is weird. The warm side of the door? What? Okay, I guess it makes sense. Good Joe. <laughs> Poochie? Ew, what the fuck is that shit? Ah, that funny face. Super Garage. I think I had one of those. Little Tykes. No, I'm drinking milk. <laughs> no coffee for me, thanks. I'm I'm straight edge. I'm drinking milk. That's such that's such dairy industry propaganda. Job of the hut. The whole like, oh yeah, milk is the best for you. I'm that's a healthy option there. Milk. The healthy option is milk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dairy lobbies. Oh, he's still triggered by Santa. Why are you working in a toy shop? That's like maybe. Maybe retail is a place you shouldn't be if you don't want to be triggered by Santa. And Christmas related decorations. The bunny. The bunny outside. Damn. Small towns are filled with those uh like window painting things. Those are all over small towns. That brings me back. The fuck? No. Fucking hit it, dude. <laughs> Moon goon. <laughs> What are you talking about? Uh-oh. A horsey. It's been so long. Surely this isn't your first Christmas since the incident. This is this should be an annual thing that you've gotten used to. This should be an annual you can't possibly have avoided seeing people dressed like Santa Claus for that long. You should you should have You should be well into getting over it or at least the film should imply that this happens every year. <laughs> That's a weird jacket. It's a Jedi robe and jeans. Horsey. That's a butt.
A very necessary scene. Hey! Nightmare, 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 nightmare. I knew it. Oh, it's critical of religion? Well, I guess there were nuns. Yeah. See, problem has arisen. Huh? Why do you have to sugarcoat it? You can just ask the question directly. It's not like the most embarrassing thing you could possibly ask. Just be like, yo, we want you to dress up as Santa. Like, you don't have to be cryptic about it. Holy shit, Thugs Bunny, 25 subs. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christmas Miracle. Thank you. Holy shit, thank you so much. That's a lot of subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Crimbus, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. <laughs> It's the 80s. You can just, like, get another job with no degree. <laughs> you can just quit and find another job that pays better and buy a house in, like, two weeks. I don't, I don't understand the conflict here. It's 1984. You'll be okay. There's people that would beg to have you as an employee earning a livable wage. Oh, he's really living the character. He's really role-playing right now. He doesn't understand that normal kids don't have the experience he had with Santa. Why are they saying this? I will punish you. Uh, I'm hanging out with my fam on Christmas over a video call. I was going to fly there, but airports got fucked, so whatever. I'm home alone. I will be glancing at my family, yes. I am a fella. I'm staying in Atlanta until February, then I'm back in Vancouver for at least a month, and then, yeah, we'll see. Woo! 
Wow. Oh, people are fucking putting it, doing fireworks right now. Damn. People are doing fireworks in my neighborhood. Mid, it's midnight. It's midnight on Christmas, so why not? Yeah. I'm used to fireworks on Halloween. <laughs> Uh, I'm living with my boyfriend in Atlanta, but he's visiting his parents for a few days this week. That face is funny. This is funny. This is a funny movie. I don't mind it. I'm drunk. Oh, he murders. He he thinks that like this holiday is based on like a killer. Like what's going on? <laughs> he hasn't figured it out. <laughs> mm. We're halfway through the movie and this has not been like incredibly boring. Just that one scene near the beginning was boring. The post-murder scene was kind of boring. It's my penis. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I feel like the male female dynamic in straight relationships isn't typically like, oh yeah, I'm giving you a present by giving you my penis. I think it's usually reversed, isn't it? Like pussy is a present. That's more of a, like a gift. Like, oh yeah, he's been holding out on her. She's been wanting it so bad this whole time and he's like finally gonna give it to her. I 
Are you going to go home to your family at some point? <laughs> I can see why this would be controversial, yeah, because it's like turning the holiday spirit into something more sinister. I haven't seen Black Christmas. As far as I know, that's just a slasher movie that takes place on Christmas, whereas this is like kind of twisting the holiday in like a dark way. This is rape. Again? Again with the just... This is... Okay. Now he's getting flashed. Now, now there has to be tits for him to get triggered. He's nuzzling her. This is funny. Just kill them then. This is so funny. Uh, Cyber Blue Neon. That's not something I want to know about a movie I haven't seen, so no spoilers, please. We're letting you off with a warning, even though the thing says it should be banned. It's crazy that nobody understands what no spoilers means. I just I don't understand how people don't understand that. Not trying to be mean, but like it's absolutely insane. I like that they showed it eventually. If you're not sure, just delete the comment. Really? The Coen brothers were like the only people to do strangulation right in a movie. In No Country, where they built a prosthetic to make it like go like through the person's neck, basically. Because you can't really put that pressure on an actor's neck. But when you see it in a film, it doesn't like when people choke someone, it's just like this. Like it doesn't look it doesn't look real because it's like, okay, I can tell you're not putting pressure. Whereas like if you're actually choking someone, it's like, ooh, like it, you 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 pull back the skin. I haven't seen that done properly in like almost any movie. Coen Brothers did that perfectly. And just nobody else puts in the effort. He's just He's just in the Christmas spirit. He just thinks that he's being festive. It's kind of sad and fucked up that this movie is like, you know, placing this victim in this sort of like weird, vicious cycle trope. But like, he doesn't, he like, <laughs> he's, he's a victim of like a previous trauma and now he's the bad guy. Like, okay, well...
Okay. <laughs> I love how they're just like shit faced. Mr. Sims! I don't really think slashers were that matured by 84. I don't know if I would call it sleazy for 84. I feel like every slasher in the 80s felt like kind of a 70s slasher. Like, I don't know if slasher did really, sl slashers had really matured by 84. Even in the 90s, it was all basically the same shit. Just more like psychological, I guess. Oh no, I've locked myself inside. How did this happen? Which can happen in a store uh, business. It was really kind of sketch. We, like, we're at a bar until close in Montreal. And we were, like, locked inside. And it was one of those things, like, I hope there's no fire right now while we wait for, like, one of the owners to get the key to let us out. Like, why are we locked inside? Like, that seems like an extreme safety hazard. It was kind of claustrophobic for a bit. It took them like 20 minutes to find the key. It was really weird. That was a bizarre memory. That was the last time I was in Montreal. I almost forgot about that. Put on the beard right. Fix the fern back. Yeah, yeah, like 1972 by the guy that made Possession. Possession's like an art house fucking horror movie. <laughs> I'll watch list that, by the way. That sounds interesting. Oops. Whoa. That's how you get ants, Lana. Get it? He's an archer. I like how blood was still coming out there. That was cool. We've still got a bunch of movie left. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. They said Amogus. Jesus. Is this movie sus? So I, I rewatched um, Home Alone while I was setting up the TV um, 
watched a bit with my boyfriend. And that fucking, oh, what is the song called? I wrote it down because it was like just so good. The Christmas song of... Uh, That fall on your knees, oh night when Christ was born. That that's like one of the best fucking hymns. It's so I like the way it's musically written. Holy is that Holy Night? I don't know what it's called. I love the chord progression for it. I think it it's I think it's epic. Kill the child. It's so boring. You don't want to see it. Ugh. Ugh. How come nobody had muscle tone in the 80s? Because they were all soy boys. They weren't drinking enough milk, obviously. I think it was just the movie casting, honestly. I think it just movies were casting a specific type of body. It was like hyper anorexic in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, like, look at that. She's way... She's That's too skinny. That's way too skinny. That type of casting is just like, I can see why people were like, this is probably a bad thing to aspire to be. Like, she definitely purges. <laughs> like, to get that role, she definitely, like, threw up a bunch. <laughs> I think it's just movie casting. It's not what most bodies were like in the 80s. <laughs> She's a fucking skeleton. Ah, I love it. that was a good line. Punish. Punish. <laughs> I love how he doesn't put on the beard properly ever and that was the worst door of all time. The Shining came out before this. <laughs> nice that axe throw. Yeah. This is fun. Okay, this is just... Why is there so much rape shit in these... There's like, There's been like four scenes with rape now. I think the director has a weird fetish. Where's the boyfriend? He's visiting his parents for Christmas. Punish! Uh, shadow gore. Oh, God. That's cool, actually. This isn't bad for an 80s horror movie at all. It's not like the worst 80s like it's yeah, it's it's this is not a terrible horror movie. Am I watching standing up? I am currently standing up, yes. Tiger! Holy shit, it's showing its balls. But the artist didn't draw it. <laughs> it's showing its butthole. <laughs> it's a weird pose. Do I feel better or different by using the standing desk? Yes, a lot better and a lot different. Yes. If I get tired of standing, I can just sit again. 
it's awesome having the option to sit and stand. It's it's liberating. There is also a remake of this. There's a remake? What are you talking about? Uh Wait a minute. He has the stupidest face. <laughs> and the worst scream. <laughs> This is funny. Horsey. Punish. What? I mean, so why did he go to this house? Because they were having sex? That was a, the most fragile shirt of all time. Punish. Does he have a butt plug in? Oh, really? The glass cut through it? You're like, he could have just died from the fall. You didn't have to show how high it, it was. But the glass cut through like his entire... Oh, wow, more tigers. There's a theme in this house. Punish. I don't... Did John Williams do the score for Home Alone? Possibly. It's It's a decent score. If you're not going to kill the child, you're a bullshit dumb movie, okay? Axe the child. Chop him up. Chop him up. Be a good movie for once. <laughs> going to give her candy. Because she didn't have sex. Oh, really? Give her candy. Those teeth. Look at what he's holding, idiot. He's... Okay. Oh, it's a present. Thank you. This is funny. This is funny. This is a funny movie. I like it. It's not bad. <laughs> his his dumb smile too. <laughs> the two bits left in the door. He just kicks it over. Ah, uh, that was funny. How do they how do they build that door? Like in the the universe of the film, like. That doesn't make any sense. Ow! How did the glass... Eh, whatever. We got orders to bring in Santa Claus. Hey. Yeah, the glass killed him. Not the fall. But Danny the wrong Santa Claus. 
idiot. See, I told you it's a good crime costume. That's weird, though, <laughs> but still. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, yeah. Blonde flashbacks. Yeah. Whenever somebody says daddy, fuck that movie. That video is doing well despite YouTube completely demonetizing it and killing it in the algorithm. It's not doing too bad. <laughs> despite me never being able to make any money out of it. Yeah. What do I think of Ro Rob Zombie? Well, I think you should ask me questions about the movie I'm watching and not about other things while I'm watching the movie. Sorry. Sorry, first time chat. I'm sorry. His music's fine. His movies are eh. There was a short period of time where people thought he was like some sort of horror genius and then people came to their senten senses. Sentences? People came to their senses and realized that he was just not great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a rule. It's just a preference. Sorry. Thank you. I'd be willing to rewatch uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. I remember parts of that movie, but yeah, I'm not a fan of his like Halloween movies or anything. I like some of his music. Devil's Rejects. I remember having some fun stuff, but yeah. Yeah, horror fans love Rob Zombie. I wouldn't consider myself a horror fans. A horror fans. I wouldn't consider myself multiple people. Oh, God, the Monsters remake looks awful. Fuck face! Yeah, Take You There, Dragula. That was a good song from the Matrix soundtrack. The world. Doing bang bang. Yeah! Naughty. You have terrible vision. Oh. Okay, so the Santa killer is just cool. If you can do that, you're cool. You're getting you're getting style points in your kills. You're not even just you're not this isn't even like a crime of passion. This is a crime of skill. <laughs> you're you're going for the high score. <laughs> He's a gamer. <laughs> Wasatch. <laughs> is that a town? 
What's happening after the movie? I don't know. Either I'm going to go to bed or watch the sequel. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling. We got another 20 minutes in this. Captain Dix. Yeah. I'm aware of Garbage Day, and I'm aware that the sequel is also a lot of footage from the first movie, apparently. <laughs> so mean, meaning there will be better spots for pee breaks. It's more funny. It better be. Sal, did you ban the person that made that uh, uh, Black Christmas spoiler, or are they just too embarrassed to comment a second time? Or have I not noticed their second other comments? No, you didn't ban them? Okay. I feel bad. I feel I, like people fuck up when they don't mean to. Like the woman who took my Instacart order and gave me the wrong gin. <laughs> But I got a refund and a free bottle of gin, so whatever. That was a huge bottle of gin. He reminds me of Carrie Elways from certain angles. The 420 Awards should just happen again next year and pretend like they never missed a year. And be like, well, we can't not have been the fourth largest show in Hollywood in four years if we never had a fourth year. <laughs> 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 Dirty snow is just what snow... I mean, like... You get, you have a place that has dirt and then you, it snows on it and then you have dirty snow. In places that sn where it snows all the time, it gets so fucking dirty. As a person from Alberta, it's a lot of dirt in that snow. It sucks. <laughs> wow, those kids are downrange. Typical American police officers. <laughs> I like how they didn't make sure that it wasn't just another regular father dressing up as Santa this time. What was, what was it about this particular incident that you were absolutely sure it was the, the real killer? Like, are we going to find out it wasn't? It was just some guy?
We all, the police department already made that mistake. You invaded someone's home. At least it's all over, even though the film didn't show their face. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oopsie. Dang it. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's a murder. <laughs> as as you do in America. Yeah. Are you hiding in the bushes? No, it's a wreath. That's the tallest fucking wheelchair I've ever seen. She was up a couple steps, but... All the children. Haram. I understand that reference. How did you scab your chin? You got rug burn? Why does that child have four legs? <laughs> it's a weird, confusing perspective. It looks like he has extra legs. <laughs> That could be on the confusing perspective subreddit. <laughs> Gay apparel. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Murder. More like tits the season. If we're going by this movie's logic. Gay apparel. Thank you, Gorilla Productions. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Almost forgot what it was called. Thank you so much. Happy holiday. Why am I always looking at the penis? Always looking at the crotch. I'm like, it had a strange bulge, like the pants were a little tight, you know? It was not a large bulge. Is that a Bruce emote? 
That's Bruce, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Mary Catmus. I think I am going to watch the sequel, even though, like, because... You know, part of me was thinking like, oh, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. But I think I'm going to stream games tomorrow because tomorrow is the Sunday stream. Even though I thought I wasn't going to do one, I'll be starting one a little late. I'll just do a solo thing. Maybe I'll play Sekiro or something. Uh, I'm going to play some games for sure. Maybe I'll play some Halo with my brother. Um, yeah, so I think I will do Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 right after this. I'll take a tiny break, but, you know, I'll pee, refill my drink with pee. Um, yeah. Because it's, sun- it's a Sunday stream, isn't it? Today's Saturday. Wait, I mean, technically today is Sunday. It's past midnight, but yeah. It's Christmas, and I'm going to don my gay apparel. Punish! Rawr. Those angles were weird. You could have set up those shots better for like one of the last deaths of your film. (laughs) What's the gayest article of clothing I own? I don't know. My fursuit? (laughs) 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 The skirt is not built in. I decided to put that over top. But I wouldn't call the skirt gay. I would call that... (laughs) Non binary. <laughs> Thank you, Nolock. I would also call it cute. If you just murder all the children, this would be a good movie. There's oh oh there's no Santa Claus. You betch. Is she thinking that she can like will him away? She thinking she can make him disappear that <laughs> like <laughs> disintegrate? Oh my god, do it! Why don't you kill the children though, for real? Thank you, Max, for the super chat. Gunshots. Now, again, children downrange. Again. Holy shit. The cops are so lucky. (laughs) I mean, I think it was slow motion and low frame rate. I think it was a bit of both. Also, classic Jesus picture in the background again. Yeah, the children are fine. Nobody's screaming. Well, you see, everybody expresses emotion and trauma in different ways, and it's just a coincidence that when you watch a film, children always display their emotion and trauma in ways that require less talent from actors. It's just a... Yeah, you know. It's not related to the acting talent or effort put in by a director. It's just, yeah, it's just, you know, people express themselves in different ways. People used to say that shit to me. You know how stupid that is? When I complained about, the, like, the acting in, like, World War Z and shit, people were like, you don't understand. Not everyone acts, like, sad when they're supposed to, like, when I complained about the acting in Brothers, I said it was held back. 
Oh! You've created a second one! That's very funny. That's the funniest ending. You better arrest him now. <laughs> that was fun. That was a good movie. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. That was good. That was fun. Now you're nodding? Oh, nodding. Not, yeah, like that was not boring for the most part. So yeah, this movie got like a bunch of sequels. There's like six movies or something. And then this second one is notoriously bad, is my understanding. And I'm not sure if they get better or worse from that point, because I didn't even know that there were more than two until tonight. Yeah, I can see why it was like good for the time. I can see why it was like somewhat notable. Wouldn't it be cool to make a movie like this and just like it be successful and just put that out into the world and then you have like like that was just a good thing that you did? Isn't that crazy? You make the same movie today, then nobody's going to fucking watch it. Sleigh Ride Inc. Did they create a production company for this film? Perhaps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, that was fun. Four out of ten. Good movie. Um, I guess the full title for the second one is part two, but yeah, I'm totally going to watch it. I'm totally going to watch it. Uh... So it used to be called just Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, but now it's called Part 2. Part time. Uh, let me just make sure I got the file. Uh, and I will stop the recording for YouTube. Hold on. <laughs>